Yeah, there were a lot of Haitians outside praying and crying, um, a lot of disbelief. A lot of disbelief. Yeah, just people in shock. Now, you imagine if you heard that here, you would hear sirens, you would hear, you know, people rushing, all you could hear was just... Nothing like that. Just the screams of agony. Yes. I knew that we would see them all, you know, I wasn't sure how much we would be able to do for them all, with the limited supplies we had. Yeah. We weren't set up for trauma, we were set up for a medical clinic. Yeah. Um, with warm medicine and Tylenol and some antibiotics. Yeah. And you know, we weren't ready to cast people and stitch people and things like that so um, but they started coming in probably about 6 30 in the morning on Wednesday mm -hmm. and it was pretty steady all day Wednesday pretty steady pretty steady yeah I mean there were times we'd have eight people waiting there'd be times we'd have two yeah. but we always had somebody in all four of those chairs it was a very small room and we had four um, really dentist chairs yeah. lined up and we had a little bench and we had two tables with yeah. supplies on them and okay. that was all that would fit in there. So you get in there. Oh, there's a lot unfinished in Haiti. Uh, yeah. They need so much there. Um, it's, it's devastated. They needed so much before we ever got there, you know, and before the earthquake. Um, and of course now they don't have the little bit that they had. Um, it's it's really a different world down there. Yeah. It really is.